every team find me and our idea is a meet up meet up app so we just it's for friends who want to meet up using the shortest time possible we don't like we want to anticipate when they're going to come so we don't wait and be awkward so it's a real quick meet up kind of app preparation we practiced about 50 times by now. <laughs> we practiced this morning. Just we practiced five like times. six times yeah. this morning. Trying get, just trying to get it perfect. Um, Getting like, all the yeah. moves perfect. Three more to go before the live competition. This is the innovation category. It's my favorite because innovation, you don't actually know what you're looking for, but when you see it, you know you found it. And that's the beauty of innovation. So now we get to the number one and the third contestant in the final round for the overall Imagine Cup winner. In the innovation category, they also receive a 50K check. But in addition, we're going to do a four week uh, accelerator, mini version of accelerator through Microsoft Ventures. So you're going to join the Microsoft Ventures accelerator in the country or location closest to you. So here we go. The number one. Do we have some Kiwis in the house from Estimate? Come on up. New Zealand's Estimate has created an app that brings friends together, especially your friends who are always late. The app takes events organized through Facebook and other social media and adds real-time updates via GPS tracking. Instead of repeatedly calling and texting your friends to ask where they are, Estimate tells you their current ETA, so you know when to order the first round or the second. Planning to spend time with your friends is easy. It's actually meeting up that can prove difficult. Research has shown that for every 10 friends who have agreed to come to an event, six of them will be late. Estimate is a Windows Phone app that integrates with social networks like Facebook. Arrival time updates are calculated automatically for each user and even tell the organizer whether a guest is currently idle or actually on their way. The project uses Microsoft Azure web services, mobile services, and SQL database, as well as Bing map services to analyze routes and traffic. The team will conduct three months of closed testing, followed by a six month regional rollout. The app will be free to use with premium features available for purchase after a one month trial. Congratulations to Team Estimate on their first place victory. One more hand for Estimate and all the innovation winners. Judges, you've all done your homework. You are familiar with the projects that earned these teams a trip here today. Now it's your job to decide who will take home the Imagine Cup and with it, a personal meeting with Bill Gates. So let's bring out our finalists. And for our last question in the Dream It round, Satya, over to the innovation team, Estimate. It's an amazing app. Um, I was just wondering, you have some inspirational stories to tell from your friends, perhaps? Or what, what, what made you build this? Were your friends usually late to parties, or what was it? <laughs> yep, so the kind of friends we have, as you know, are obviously 60% of them are late all the time. So oh, man, that's <laughs> accurate. So, so at the, there was this time we were meeting up at the train station, and one of our friends said, we'd be right there in five minutes. And as you can imagine, we were still waiting there two hours later. Yeah. <laughs> That's just one of the few examples. When you walk down the street, you can see everyone, people on their phones waiting for people, asking where are you, how long will you be, are you even on your way? So that's what our app tries to answer. It answers all these questions in a, a simple inter interface. Yep, and um, because um, we found that um, people 
very sensitive about their information sharing. That's why we decided to not share their exact location with their friends. So that's one of the different things about our app. But then I guess for the Imagine Cup, one, we had four members in our team. One, would, one of them would be constantly late to the meetings. And then, funnily enough, he wasn't able to make it here today. So. But that's a whole entire different reason. We won't blame him for that. But just want to say we made it. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Right, so Estimate, you, you guys are building a, what is naturally a social and viral app. And you know, by, by the choice of going on the Windows platform, if I want to organize something with a bunch of friends, uh, have you thought about using either HTML5 or going cross-platform so the other friends I want to meet up with can respond to me to tell me where they are? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, our, our next step is um, building the cross-platform using Xamarin. Yeah, uh, we planning to next three months or so we're gonna release this uh, uh, app to all three platforms. Eric, please begin the round with a question for the innovation team. Uh, estimate, you guys have a uh, a lot of competition out there from existing services, um, some of which are, are very big uh, competitors, um, and you also have a, a freemium model. Um, what what type of premium features do you think people would be willing to pay for versus all the free services out there? Yep, so the main difference we have with our competitors is the privacy, and I think we can appeal to a lot of users out there who think they don't want to disclose their exact location to your friends. Citizenship team. I like the way you thought about the world as developing and developed, and you know, even thought about the business model for the two. Um, maybe you want to talk a little bit about maybe insurance companies in the developed world and what they may do with your app. And then uh, in the developing world, uh, you talked about NGOs and other organizations. So tell me a little more about how you plan to go to market with these governmental or non-governmental organizations. So I have to admit that my experience with insurance companies is a bit lacking. I come from Australia and we live in the world of socialized medicine. <laughs> so. But to the best of my ability, I will answer your question. Um, so we think that insurance companies can uh, use this as a preventative health measure. We don't think that health is something that um, everyone, that some people are working against. Like some people seem to think that health companies, insurance companies, don't want people to be healthy. And we don't think that's true. We think that insurance companies play a big role in preventative health because it's in their interest. You don't want someone to go to the hospital and have to do a thousand dollars, thousands of dollars of payouts. And we think insurance companies can actually use this to tell users, to give them impetus to improve their own health. And we see that. This is going to happen in a lot of places. I'm sure all of you here are familiar with the quantified self movement, and that's really where that strikes at the heart of it. To use data, big data, to monitor our own bodies in the way that we've monitored everything else in the world to make that universal. In regards to NGOs and partnerships, so currently we can imagine Anemia working everywhere. It is the world's first simple, non invasive, and easily accessible tool for screening anemia. So, uh, so I'll answer it really quickly because we have seven seconds. We've already had our um, app in hospitals within Australia. Our next step is we're going to be partnering with Aboriginal health um, organisations and nursing. Oh. We have partners. <laughs> Under the wire, I love it. We've got a special guest who would like to say a few words. Congratulations to all of you for the work you've done so far in the Imagine Cup. The great thing about young innovators is that they see things the rest of us don't. They have a fresh perspective and a new way of looking at old problems. When Paul Allen and I were starting Microsoft, we pulled all-nighters and worked 18-hour days. We were non-stop, and it was really wonderful. When I talk to innovators today and hear about their ideas, it, it takes me back to those early days. One of the amazing things about software development is that one or two people with a great idea sitting in a dorm room or a garage can make a huge impact. With today's technologies like cloud computing and easy download to mobile devices, the opportunity to have a big impact very quickly is larger than ever. 
The Imagine Cup is an excellent way to recognize and reward young innovators and encourage them to keep working on ideas that can change the world. I'm looking forward to meeting the students who take home this year's Imagine Cup. Good luck to all of you. It's been an amazing week uh, for us at Microsoft. Uh, we did our first company-wide hackathon this week, and we had you know over 100,000 people all uh, participating. Uh, and then to have a chance on Friday to come here and spend time with student developers, um, I wish every week was like this, where you just live amongst developers all the time. Uh, and it's just exciting. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, you know, just seeing Bill speak, uh, we are the original student developer company um, and the original tools company. And uh, to have that inspiration uh, that comes from listening and talking and seeing developers imagine things, uh, and especially the young developers. I mean, the, um, the ideas we saw this morning amongst the winners, I was also looking at all the various teams that competed. First of all, give all of yourselves a round of applause because it's a fantastic <laughs> The thing that's perhaps most exciting to me is we live in a time uh, where we can imagine uh, the impossible and make it probable. Uh, and you saw it in the finalists, you saw it in the other winners, in terms of there is just boundless imagination and the possibilities of what technology can do to any walk of life. Uh, and that's what makes it exciting. And to be able to take that power, the power of software and the tools, and democratize innovation, starting with the youth, uh, is something that's truly inspirational for us at Microsoft, and it's great to see all of you uh, compete and compete with the spirit uh, that I think is only going to make each one of us better. So thank you for participating, thank you, and congratulations to the winners, but I would want to have uh, Eric and Hadi also come up and share some thoughts. And one of the things I'm really excited about is this tradition of perhaps bringing back all of you uh, to Seattle to celebrate uh, your boundless imagination. Thank you, and Hadi. Well, as, as somebody who's been trying to get students around the world to learn computer programming and just get started with the basics, it's just been amazing to me see, to see how not only these finalists, but also the, the teams before them as well, the level of technical excellence in all of the apps you guys have created is just stunning. So that's, that's what I had to say. That's awesome. Eric? Yeah, this is, uh, uh, so, so Reddit is also a student startup, and, uh, uh, you know, Reddit, uh, you know, it has not won any design awards. Um, it looks like it's from the 90s, perhaps. <laughs> so I, I was especially impressed with just how, how good all of these different programs looked. The UX on them, how easy they are to use for anyone around the world. And, and just the level of, of detail and, and polish is really, really impressive. All right, so we're ready for the award. I think we have a winner picked. I think so. I think so. I'm, oh, you're going to give me my cue? All right, thank you so much. I mean, I must say, everyone should think of themselves and the finalists as winners. It is just amazing. It is uh, the stories behind your ideas uh, were equally impressive, and I thought you all did fantastic in responding to all the questions. Uh, you know, that 90 minute thing, I was like, I didn't know what to ask. Uh, and you did much better than me. Uh, so the three of us, we spent exactly 90 seconds uh, deciding, and it was great uh, to come to a unanimous decision. Uh, it's Inemia from New Zealand. Congratulations.